happy day, I'm glad that I'm also known as Olyana Denisnova. I'm going to be one of the most legendary Russian gold diggers of all time. I'm gonna work really hard, emigrate to the United States, and find the sugar daddy of my dreams. As you can see, my stats are beautiful, my looks aren't very good. However, I'm gonna meet somebody, and he's gonna pay for my plastic surgery. And this is a very good, uh, wholesome, just good, clean bit life. Let's go. I've been diagnosed with whooping cough. Uh, mom, please don't let this be a thing. Did I get immunized? Okay, I no longer have whooping cough. That was a- <gasps> Oh, it was a close call. The famous musician Antonio Wood has unexpectedly died. <gasps> oh no, I was gonna date him. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep going, I'm five years old. A lot of terrible things are happening around the world, but all that matters is that I'm okay and that I'm gonna get the gold that I desire. Bully, a girl that sits behind you in class has been cutting off bits of your hair every day. How am I gonna gold dig if my hair is all over the place and it's all cut weird? I'm going to report her to my teacher. Should I assault her? I don't know, if she attacks me back, I can't afford to lose any more face than I already have. My hair is already botched. What if she shaves me bald? I can't be doing that. I'm reporting her to my teacher. The mole. Hopefully nobody calls me the mole now. Ooh, the cool girls at school ask you if you wanna go to the movies. We're gonna go see the silly sorcerer. Now I am, from birth, going to be the greatest social climber you've ever seen. So yes, I will go with them. And it was pretty cool, I guess. They really liked it, I didn't. This is something that I'm gonna have to get used to. I need to up my smarts at least a little bit. I can't go to the library yet, so all I can do is study a little bit harder. My father has been promoted to senior physical therapist. That reminds me, I have to love my dad and treat him very well. We blew bubbles. I wanna make sure that my dad really likes me because I'm gonna need some money from him very soon here. It's $5 to go to the gym. I have zero. Mom, you are stunning. And I mean that, I truly, truly do. She told me that I'm a visionary. Well, I mean, you'll see. You'll see what becomes of me, mama. We're gonna spend some time together. We went to the amusement park. She took me, I didn't have to pay. This is the kind of quality time that I really look forward to. Nine years old. I looked directly into a solar eclipse and couldn't see for 14 days. Oh man, that's not great, not great. Hopefully I can see well enough to study harder. I'd really like a golden retriever because you know, gold retriever. I kind of like that. The most golden of dogs. We're gonna pick up little patata. Yeah, ta ta. Ooh, that's a good dog. Healthy, happy, smart, not crazy. Mom, dad, I need this golden retriever. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna bathe her. She hated it. We usually golden retrievers like that kind of stuff. What about we spend some time together? I put a costume on her. <laughs> I'm dressing up my golden retriever to be what I wanna be in the future. Now, now that you're in your new outfit, let's go for a little walk. My golden retriever very much enjoyed that. I'm suffering from pneumonia. Oh my goodness. <gasps> let's go to the doctor. Please treat me. I'm no longer suffering. Okay, there's so many close calls. I, I keep thinking that this game is destroyed, but I'm going to overcome all adversity and be the greatest gold digger of all time. First kiss? Ah! Okay, I'm getting so into this. You have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a boy named Pavel Chekhov. What will you do? Kiss him with tongue? I am the greatest gold digger. We are kissing with tongue. You kissed him with tongue and he tasted like grape soda. I love it! Oh, my experience was great. It was just so good. Are we dating? No, we're not dating. It was just a kiss and miss. Maybe I should have kept the tongue away. Maybe I need to work on my strategy and read more books. My mom is a regular at the nudist colony. Mom, that's really not how you're gonna get the gold that you need in this life. I'm gonna take my dog for a walk. Cause every time I take my dog for a walk, like I see people, I meet people, I size everybody up. I look at my future. I'm not gonna release my dog into the wild. We're just gonna spend some time together. I got my dog a pedicure. I'm just waiting till I'm old enough to do these things for myself. School dance. It's time you go to your first school dance. You were attracted to a boy named named Zawal Rand. What will you do? Ask him to go with me? Well, preferably I'd prefer if he went to me, but you know, it's kind of in my sugar baby style to see the guy that I want, the very good looking guy, and ask him to go with me. Why would he say no? I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm smart, and my looks like aren't that great, but I'm smart, maybe he likes my smarts. I really gotta work on my looks in the future. I'm gonna ask him to go with me. He rejected me! Oh, I went to the dance by myself and I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, mom, I'm gonna need to go to the movies. I, I need to, I, we need to go to the movies now. Frosty Pearl and the Eight Midgets. I hated it. Okay, nothing is gonna cheer me up from this boy dumping me and I'm gonna get my vengeance in the future. That's for sure. Dad, I need money 
now. He gave me $1,600? Dad, you shouldn't have. Dad, you should not have had. Oh, we, we didn't. Okay, I'm gonna give my dad a compliment. You're a stud. You are a rich stud, dad. And he said that I'm intriguing. Oh, my dad treats me so good. I'm going to the gym. Well, I've got way more than $5, so there's a lot I can do. I'm gonna get a cut and color, because I just wanna, like, I wanna start working on my look game. I wanna start just looking really good. I don't want a guy to ever turn me down again. Now, I don't know how much young guys in high school appreciate a mani-pedi, but let's hope that they do. Great, I'm at 89% good looks right now. And since I have $1,500, I'm gonna go shopping. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm gonna buy all the rings, all the blings, because I just want people to think that, you know, I'm a little wealthy, I'm a little rich. Have I gone to the gym yet this year? Okay, I got yelled at by an elderly woman at the grocery store. She wasn't getting out of my way. I'm spending so much money on myself right now. Hopefully it pays off. 92% good looking. I am a bombshell right now. Oh, I forgot, I gotta study a little bit harder. There we go. The thing I don't like about the spa is you start to spend all this money upgrading yourself, but like it deteriorates very quickly. So I was at like almost 100% and now I'm at 79, so I need to find a more permanent way to etch my way into my gold digging future. And I'm also starting to think my dad is a fan of Justin Bieber, which not a big fan of that. I can't get plastic surgery until I'm 18. So for now, I'm gonna study harder. 79% good looking. Are any of these guys gonna ask me out ever? <gasps> Patata, I forgot about Patata! She passed away from old age as the years finally caught up to her. I, for I completely forgot about my dog. Okay, what would be the best route for a gold digger? Because I'm only gonna work for a few years make enough money to emigrate to America and meet the man of my dreams. History, I don't think so. Biology, maybe. Arts, I don't think so. Psychology, dance, okay, there's no finance. There's no engineering. There's no nothing that I can do to like make money really quickly. So I think that maybe not doing an education is what we're gonna do this time. I'm not gonna get educated despite the fact that I've studied so hard. I'm just gonna go right into being an exotic dancer. Um, dad, I need you to support my life. He gave me $1,500. Mom, I also need money from you. She gave me 110. So I've got $2,900 to my name right now. And can I afford plastic surgery? I don't even think it's available. Um, that's not good. Oh, I'm only 17. <laughs> I thought I was 18. I'm gonna spend time with my mom and my dad because they give me some serious cash when I want them to. I'm gonna compliment my dad. You're a god. He told me I'm wicked awesome. Spend some time with my dad. Took him to the shooting range. And mom, I guess we'll go to the movies. Um, let's get a job. I'm gonna be a porn star. This should go well. You didn't get an interview? Okay, what I need to do right now is not be 17. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to do right now. 18. Okay, so now, please, 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 I need that porn actor job. Only 73k? Well, you know what? That's something. Great. I got the job and now I can age up one year, make all the money I could ever dream of, and since the spa doesn't work as well as I need this to work so I can be the best sugar baby ever, I'm going to go to the plastic surgeon. I'm gonna get a Brazilian butt lift. I need that big old honking apple bottom to attract the kind of idiots that I'm looking for. So we're gonna find out who we're gonna get it done by, by seeing who is more expensive. Both of these guys have last names I can't pronounce. Sivziazamu Slabovlich and Dmitrovich. Oh, I can pronounce that one. Um, so he's four grand and she is three grand. Oh, these are very cheap. I'm gonna get the surgery. The results are okay. Um, we're gonna try again. Ooh, I'm gonna get my baboons done. Kurdina, let's get it. Okay, now one last thing. Just because I want these results to last, I'm going to get a new nose. Okay. And now I'm officially extremely good looking. And I'm gonna take myself out to the club, the nightlife. Rochkina's Lounge, Maxim's Disco, or Salkova's Lounge. That one sounds expensive. I'm gonna go to that one, I didn't like it. Oh. I'm gonna try every single nightlife place to see if I can meet a man there. Cause I mean like, you know, it's a pretty good place to meet somebody. I really liked that one. Richkina's Lounge? Oh, you have an opportunity to have a one night stand with a man named Smalyavanova Putina. Should I give it to him or no, I'm not into that. I haven't really had much experience with guys. Like the only one that I had, he broke up with me. Should I do this? I'm kind of scared to do this because what if I die? I'm gonna use protection, it's gonna be fine. Use protection. Oh. I really enjoyed it. He didn't and I might be addicted to cigarettes now. Not the greatest. My mother retired, ooh. 
and I've been given a raise. I gotta be really nice to my mom and dad because like they're kind of getting up there in age and I just wanna make sure. I called my dad a pimp daddy. My mom didn't really like that, but hopefully my compliment is good. I called her wise. So I walk up to my dad and I'm like, what's up pimp daddy? And then I go to my mom and I'm like, you're very wise. She called me bright. Wow, dad, can I have some money? <gasps> he gave me $13,000. Do I even need a sugar daddy? I've got the daddy. Okay, I shouldn't call my dad that, but I've got a very good dad, okay? He's so nice to me. Now, I am 21 years old. This is prime time. I've got all of the stats that I could ever dream of, and it's time now to go to the States. Here we go. Wait, the States isn't in here. It was in there last time. This isn't really working out for me. All of my stats are 100, I'm going shopping. Step into the mirrors if you like. I like it. Great. I like it indeed. Thank you very much. I'd like a purse too. Actually, no, I want my next boyfriend to buy me a purse and a vacation. Wow, I make a lot of money per year. I'm walking away from a very bright future to emigrate. And okay, so the United States is never gonna be an option, so we're gonna go to Canada first. I've been approved, I'm going to Canada. You quit your job as a porn star. Hopefully it goes well for me. Maybe I can emigrate from here. All I can do is go back to Russia. So I'm gonna have to find my man in Montreal. So my desired age is 80 plus with over $100,000 a year. I found him! He's 95! Okay, I gotta marry this guy so fast. He's got money. He's good looking, he's smart. For a 95 year old, this guy is popping off. I'm going on a date with him. Kenneth Grant, hi, how's it going? I'm going to compliment. You're lion hearted. I'm going to uh, spend time. We made hand painted t-shirts. He's really old, so he's, he's kind of into that kind of thing. We talked about the craziest natural disasters we've experienced. Mine was when my dog attacked me. We're gonna go to the movies. You've been warned, it's a horror, so I can like cuddle up to his dusty old bones. He didn't enjoy it at all. He almost had a heart attack. Oh, well then. I can't believe how good my stats are right now. It's a, it's a little bit unbelievable. It's a little bit unbelievable. Can I interact with my mom and dad from here? I can. I've got a lot of old people in my life who I really appreciate. Maybe I'm like texting my mom and dad. We went surfing. Me and my 90 year old boyfriend went surfing. Okay, listen, Kenneth. I love you very, very much. I'm gonna give you a compliment. You're strong. He called me unparalleled. He called me unparalleled. I'm going to propose. He rejected. <gasps> Kenneth, come on. Don't do this to me, Kenneth. You know what you want to do with me, Kenneth? You know what you want to do with me, Kenneth? We're going to go on a cruise. Mediterranean, transatlantic, or now river. I'm going to do Mediterranean with an ocean view. That sounds good. Your boyfriend wants to go with you? Of course, I will take my boyfriend Kenneth with me on this beautiful adventure. We're gonna do it. Oh, Oliana! Oh, Kenneth, I love you! Oliana! He's wearing the hat as well. We, bought, we got matching hats, okay? Kenneth, I think it's time that we propose. He rejected me again! Kenneth! I'm gonna give him a compliment. I gotta make this guy like me every time he rejects my marriage proposals. We're gonna take him to the movies. He likes science fiction, that's good for us. I'm wasting so much time with this like, old man. Okay, we played dominoes. <gasps> I'm pregnant, what do I do? I don't want to keep the baby. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like upgrade my life so that I can find another boyfriend when Kenneth passes on. So I'm not gonna have a baby. However, I wanna have like 10 last names. I wanna have like a track record of every guy I've ever been with or been married to. And like, I wanna go to the movies, but I can't go alone. So we're going together. The devil's in the details. Oh, he liked a horror for once, good for him. He passed away, but we weren't married. Ah, no. <sighs> I'm attending his funeral. Oh, Kenneth. Oh, we didn't even get to get married. I need to go to the movies by myself because I don't have a boyfriend. I'm gonna go see a comedy. That kind of helped. Can I spend time with my parents or can I only text them from afar? Uh, mom, can we spend time together? We can't because she lives in Russia. Okay, so I can only text with my parents right now. Listen, you're looking great, mom. She called me adorable. Dad, can you do, like, can you remind me of old times and give me money? Can you give me 13 grand? Thank you so much, Dad. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You are the best dad I ever had. It seems like I'm sad because I lost my fiance, but really, <laughs> I'm just sad because my master plan didn't work out. I'm not doing too good right now. I'm gonna go to the casino. The Montreal Nation Casino. That sounds good. I'm gonna bet 25k. Deal him. Uh, okay. I, I lost a lot of money. We're not gonna go back there. Oh, I'm so desperately unhappy. Okay, before I can meet somebody, I need to be happy. Otherwise, 
It's just not gonna work out for me. Can I emigrate to the States, please? I can't. Oh. I'm gonna buy a lottery ticket. I'm gonna buy a tent. I didn't win. Oh. Nightlife. I'm tired of being sad that my plan didn't work out. I'm gonna go to every single club in the city. Hyacinth, let's go. I didn't meet anybody there. That's very unfortunate. Um, what other clubs are there in the city? How about Club Mahogany? I kind of enjoyed it. Oh, you've been offered drugs? Now, I like, I like things that are expensive and I like having them for free. However, I just really can't afford to die right now, so I'm gonna say no. We're gonna go back to the club and hopefully I meet a man and not, you know, drugs. Benjamin's Lounge. I liked it. <gasps> Jaden Reed. You have an opportunity to have a one night stand with a dude named Jaden Reed. What will you do? He's quite good looking. I'm lonely. I have needs. I'm gonna do it. Oh, there's no things. There's no protection available, so I can't do it. I'm still not happy at all. Okay. I'm just gonna take the next few minutes to up my happiness because I need to be a happy gold digger, not a sad gold digger. <gasps> oh! 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 Okay, uh, that is just uh, wonderful. I, <laughs> I was like, okay, what's gonna make me happy here? And I like went to the spa and I got massages, got spray tans, and I was like, oh, you know what? I. Maybe, maybe I'll see if I can win the lottery. I mean, it's the chances aren't very good, but oh my goodness, I won $75 million. Do I even need a sugar daddy at this point? I won $70 million. Ah! Jim King Johnson, you are not good enough for me. Oh, I'm buying purses. I'm just, I'm living it. I'm, I'm just living the dream right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I just did not think that I was going to be winning the lottery. That is insane. I can't, I can't believe it. Wow, I just, wow. I'm gonna buy the biggest house there ever was. Katie Trudeau? Okay, these are so cheap. I have $75 million. Unique equestrian property, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, perfect condition. I'm buying it with cash. $2 million? <laughs> That's really not too much for me. Who would have thought I'm my own sugar daddy? And look at my stats. I just like, <gasps> I'm fantastic. I'm gonna buy a car. I'm gonna buy a Lamborghini. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I can't, I can't believe, I can't breathe. A Ferrari, but it's used. It's in bad condition, I can't. I'm super rich. Oh, oh, that feels good. You know what? I'm 1% I'm down in my smarts, but I do not care. There's money everywhere, and I'm gonna see if I can spend all of my money before I die because I am a gold digger at heart, and I don't want anybody else to get any of my money before I die. So I'm gonna buy a Tesla right now. I'm gonna buy it with cash. I'm going to not get a job because who needs one? We need some more $2 million houses. There we go. Unique equestrian property. Buying it with cash. Oh, I'm throwing a house party! <gasps> 163 guests came to the party at your unique equestrian property. The police showed up because they heard a noise complaint. What'll you do? Oh, sorry, officer. Do you want some money? Do you want to come in? The police gave me a warning. Oh, I was always meant to be a poor gold digger. I don't know what to do with all of this money. I'm gonna buy it with cash. Okay, I've got so many $2 million homes. This is crazy. I'm gonna party like it's 1999. 127 guests came. A guy has overdosed on angel dust. What do you do? Ugh, get out. Should I take him to the hospital? Am I a nice gold digger? No. Get out. Get out of my house. I'm gonna buy some more houses. Okay, did I buy every single $2 million property here? Should I emigrate and buy all of the nice properties somewhere else? I think so. All right, am I buying everything in Denmark, Peru, India, or Turkey? I'm gonna try Denmark. I got approved. Of course I did. I'm going to Denmark. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay, the real estate's not very good here. Ah, the spacious palace. Nine bedrooms, 11 bathrooms. Not in very good condition, but we're buying it with cash. Oh, so good. Are there like some nice cars I can get out here? Jay Cub Scouts Auto Brokers? He's got a, okay, Jay's got a Bentley. I'm gonna buy that Bentley with cash. Thank you, Jay. I'm not very happy. So I'm gonna throw a party at my spacious palace. Throw a mansion party! 
378 guests came to your spacious palace party and everybody had a great time. This is the best life I've ever had. Oh, should I get a, should I get a monkey? Wait, but then I can't move. I'm not gonna get a monkey as much as I want one. Let's see if the dating app has anything to offer for me because I just got to gold dig a little bit more. Love dating app. He's got to be super old and he's got to make lots of money so that he understands my lifestyle. Well, I guess I don't need to date old guys anymore. I can date young ones because I got all the money in the world. Majestic palace, seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms. Let's buy it with cash. Oh, yeah. Only 1.8 million. Whatever. Let's buy it with cash. 10 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, buying it with cash. 2.5 million, I'm buying it with cash. <laughs> oh, I'm a real estate mogul. Okay, so I've managed to go through, I think about $20 million. I'm just gonna check once more if there's somebody to love me. Since I'm like rich, I'm just gonna see if anyone younger wants me. No luck. Let's see if we can find a date. Axel Jacobson, mm, dental hygienist, oh, I don't know about that. I think it's time to go on a vacation by myself. We're gonna go to Santorini, Greece. Oh, that would be great. And we're gonna go, of course we're going first class. We're flying first class up in the sky. Oh, oh, I've never had this much money. Okay, so I'm just gonna buy up the rest of the real estate here and then we're gonna move to India. Okay, that's all cheap and that's all cheap. We're gonna go straight to India. I could find like a young, cute guy and I could change his life. I'm gonna do that. But first I'm gonna buy everything. Land in Singh, oh, $2.5 million mansion in India, buying it with cash. So that, you know, my new little sugar baby has somewhere to live. Let's find the love of my dreams. Dikram Singh, he's 29, he's a waiter, Oh, He's not very good looking, he's kind of smart, he's not very crazy and he doesn't have any money. I'm gonna ask him on a date. I'm now dating Dikram Singh. Okay, so hey Dikram, I'm going to give you $100,000. Do you like that? Oh, he almost loves me now. Dikram, do you wanna go on vacation? Mumbai, India, I mean, that's where he's already from. Let's take him to Italy. I want him to, I want this man to see the world. We're gonna go first class, Italy. We're gonna eat all the pasta there ever was. We're bringing Dikram with us. It's $20,000, we're gonna do it. Oh, Dikram, I think it's time. But like, should I really like date him and then like dump him? Should I really marry him? There's really not much there for me. Let's just see if I propose if he'd say yes. He said yes. <laughs> Didn't even think about it for a second. He's just, yes. All right, well, if you love me, then surely you will follow me back to Canada. Your fiance has agreed to go with you. Oh, okay, fine. We're going to Canada. Dikram, in this life, what I do is I buy mansions with cash. And that's like pretty much it. Like, is there anything cool you can show me? Bugatti sounds good. Buy with cash. I saw a Ferrari down there, so we're gonna get that too. Buy that with cash. Oh boy, this is looking good for me. Look at all my houses. Oh, it's hard to spend money. Ooh, charming equestrian property. Let's buy it with cash. And I think it's time to throw another house party. 40 guests, only 40? I'm arguing with the cops. They're here for a noise complaint. Listen, idiots. They identified five underage drinkers at my party. <gasps> no, no, no. Uh, okay, Um. listen, this is okay. This is, <laughs> it's a false alarm. I have a lot of money. Harrison Posey can get me out of here. They're nine grand, that must mean they're good. I'm not guilty. <laughs> I'm part of the 1% right now, so I guess I just get away with everything. Bikram's been bugging me because he wants a pet, so we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him a pony. Dirty Diana, mm. Dash the pony, Andrew, Malik. We're gonna go with the baby, Andrew. He's a healthy pony, happy, smart, and not crazy. We're gonna buy it. the horse. We're just gonna name him Horse, so I don't forget who he is, because I'm just like, I'm just buying everything, okay? Car collector. <laughs> I, my car collection is worth over one million now. You went off-roading and broke a shock absorber. Oh, my Bugatti. Repair it. Time to buy all the houses in the world, yeah. I wonder if I cheat on Bikram, if he will forgive me, because like, how can you not? I'm gonna find a date. I need two Bikrams. A dating app has paired you with a man named Drake Fortin. He's 30. He's a school teacher. He's not good looking, but he's smart. And he's kind of crazy and I kind of need a little crazy in my life. We're gonna go on a date. Upgrade, you are now dating Drake Fortin. And Dikram left me? Dikram had the balls to leave me? What? Okay. Well, Drake, I'm gonna give you $5. <laughs> 
Do you appreciate it? Since I'm still young and good looking, I think I'm gonna go to the club. I liked it. I'm gonna like stack boyfriends on boyfriends. A massage therapist? I can deal with that. You are now dating Kai. Oh, Drake left me. Hmm. These guys don't like getting cheated on, hey? He told me that I'm brilliant. Okay, so this guy just really likes me right out the gate. I don't even have to give him money. I bought all the expensive houses here. I'm moving. Hey, you know what I just realized? I came from Russia. I left Russia kind of broke. I'm gonna go back and show them who I am now. Your boyfriend wants to go with you. Oh, he's agreed to go with me? Oh, I'm not really into that. I guess he's gonna have to find a nice Russian girl because I don't want him to come with me. Russia has refused your entry while you're in possession of your horse. Horse? I don't know Russia cared that much about horses. Okay, I'm gonna have to set my horse free. I need to show everybody in Russia how cool I am now. I'm releasing you into the wild. Bye, horse. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> A Russian hacker knocks on the door and is standing there with your horse. Uh, you can keep him. You gave your American quarter horse to the Russian hacker. Speaking of Russian hacker, guess where I'm going? Russia, yes! Should I break up with my boyfriend first? No, we're gonna drop him off in Russia and see how he likes it. So the first thing we're gonna do is buy a ton of property in Russia. Oh, there we go, three million dollars. Nine bedroom, nine bath. I'm gonna buy it with cash. I just have so much money, I just, I can't, I can't spend it. A Buga a three million dollar Bugatti? Oh, 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 yes. While playing chess at the park with an old man, you meet a male named Ilya Fedorov. He's 33. He's an exhibit associate at Hyacinth Foundation. He is just average across the board. I kind of want someone who's crazy, so I'm gonna wait. Car accident? You got into a small accident while driving. Your Tesla Model S? That car is the one that's not supposed to crash. Boris Yermolaj is 18. Sugar baby quality. Junior flight attendant at Glacier Airlines. He is kind of good looking, kind of smart, no money, and very crazy. This guy's perfect for me. I'm now dating Boris. Hey, Boris. Let's have a baby. Oh, he doesn't want to have a baby. Whatever. I know what'll cheer me up. A little retail therapy. I'm gonna buy an acreage with cash. Listen, Boris, I'm bored. I told him he's sharp. He didn't appreciate it. This guy doesn't appreciate anything. I'm gonna insult him. You're psycho. He didn't even say anything back? You've been offered Vicodin, what do you do? I'm gonna take it. I've like almost doubled my money with my real estate. It's kind of amazing. Two million dollar house, buy it with cash. There we go. My Bugatti is takes 49K to fix. Oh, these are some serious expenses. I have spent so much of my money. I only have $27 million left out of 75 million. Repair my Tesla again. Oh, your boyfriend Boris has asked you to marry him. You've been together for seven years. What'll you do? He is really crazy. Yeah, I'll accept. And I'm gonna see if it will like make Boris kind of mad if I get a weird pet. I'm gonna get a panther. Boris didn't even care. Boris doesn't care about anything. And my cars keep breaking down. All these like new $3 million houses keep coming on sale and I keep buying them. I'm gonna put Boris to the test. He said he couldn't help me. <gasps> my father passed away. I'm attending his funeral. <gasps> oh no, my car broke. <gasps> oh no, how am I gonna get to the funeral? Oh yeah, I've got six more cars. I'm suffering from diarrhea. My Ferrari broke? I'm gonna go to an alternative doctor. Colon hydrotherapy. Is my colon okay? It didn't help, it didn't do anything. Okay, we're gonna go see a medical doctor. Treat my diarrhea. I'm no longer suffering from diarrhea. My cars cannot stop breaking down. I'm going to the club. GHB? I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna give it. I'm pregnant? Uh, um, I don't know about that. Oh, my Bugatti will not stop breaking! It is just really not worth it to buy expensive cars. Four million dollar house though, I'm buying that. With cash. Five million dollar house? Russia is popping off right now with their houses. Oof. Okay, there's so many. There are so many like dank houses. <gasps> I've almost spent all of my money. I spent all of my money on houses and I'm throwing a house here. I'm throwing a house party at my nine bedroom, 10 bathroom. 357 guests came to my magnificent party. One of your guests has overdosed on meth. What do you do? Get out. Your fiance Boris is demanding that you get married. You've been engaged for six years, breaking up with him. Goodbye, Boris. And I'm repairing my Tesla. Ugh. I only have to spend 500K and then I've officially spent all $75 million. I wonder if there's like a plastic surgery that costs three grand. What about eyelid surgery? Two grand? That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna get eyelid surgery. It went well. I've got $723 left. I'm going to spend it where I was born, the spa. And I'm gonna get extension. I, I've, I've almost spent all of my money. I can't believe it. Ow, Ow that really hurt. I waxed. Come on. Um, I have a million dollars in debt. I might fix that later. I'm two million dollars in debt. 
I might fix that later. Oh, okay, now we're gonna see how much debt I can get into before I die. Somebody just died, don't know who that was. $8 million in debt, $9 million in debt. Someone called me a loser. Have I gone full circle? I'm gonna forgive her. I've been diagnosed with anxiety, oh no. Oh no, I'm sad. Oh no, my stats. $18 million in debt. Your best friend, Azzy, is ridiculing you for not having a job. Argue with her. Everything is going out of control. I had a dark beginning and now I have a dark end. I have a net worth of a hundred million dollars. Wow. Ooh. You died at the age of 64. You died of complications from old age. Net worth, 100 million dollars. Debt, 25 million dollars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you ever wanna see me again, make sure you turn on push notifications and I will see ya on the next one. Bye.